Hey guys, now it feels like we've done this video before. How to test your dive buddy. Let's have a look. Okay, how to tell if your dive buddy hates you. Uh, how to test your dive buddy is narcs, kind of. Uh, five ways to prank your fellow scuba diver. Okay, yeah, I guess we technically haven't done this one yet. Your buddy is your lifeline underwater and a second pair of eyes on your gear that can help prevent an incident before it happens. Now, you really do have to trust your dive buddy because your life is pretty important, let's face it. So you need a way to test your buddy without, you know, being too obvious and giving there a questionnaire or something. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at five ways at how to test your dive buddy. No, we're not. There's no five. Buckle in. Sean picked this one, if you hadn't guessed. Um... Okay, picture this. You're on a boat. They've strapped your cylinder in so that it doesn't fall over. Your buddy climbs into his BCD and you say, Don't worry, bruv. I got you. I'll untie your cylinder from the rail. But you don't. Let's see what unfolds. A good dive buddy will try to stand up and laugh off the harmless prank as you both embrace and have a nice 90s sitcom ending moment, whereas a bad dive buddy would just rage quit and have a tantrum, throwing their dive kit all over the deck, chasing you down like a dog. Although, to be brutally honest, in this example, I think that you might be the bad dive buddy for, you know, leaving your buddy lashed to the boat. But also, you know, a good dive buddy would have checked their own kit first, you know, to be honest. Pre-dive check. A good diver should check their own gear first as they're getting kitted up, so they know that everything is in working order. A great dive buddy will insist on a comprehensive buddy check, making sure that you both understand one another's gear that it's in full working order, how to get one another out of the gear, you know, in case things heat up, or I suppose if there's an incident, your dive plan, and of course communications and anything else pertinent to that dive. Remember BWRAF blonde women really are fun? Yeah, mnemonics really are fun, and you need to do them more. A stellar dive buddy should have expert knowledge of dive kit and check all the failure points have been checked and pose no threat to the dive. So yeah, really a, a good dive buddy will more than double your pre-dive checks, I'm afraid. False information. Throw in some curveballs and see what they do. You know, I always dive with 15 kilos of lead. If they just shrugs a comment like that off when you're only diving a rash vest and board shorts, then your buddy is probably trying to kill you. <laughs> A good dive buddy will say something like, Pardon me, my good sir, but in my experience, I do not believe that you require so much negative buoyancy to maintain neutral buoyancy on today's dive. I believe that a mere two kilograms of lead weight should be sufficient enough to produce the desired effect with your current configuration and today's conditions. Just to let everyone know, that's actually how Mark talks. <laughs> you can then feel safe whilst diving with Lord Fancy Pants. That's your name! <laughs> Hello, Lord Fancy <laughs> Poke him with a stick. Sean again, uh, if you couldn't tell. Sean recommends that you poke your buddy with a stick to see what reaction you get. This is actually a good way to test your professional diver because they should be pretty bomb-proof. But, you know, just take it a little bit easy with less experienced divers just in case they freak out or something. This can be quite fun around areas with seals or sharks. A little tug on your buddy's fins will make a good buddy stop moving and slowly turn around expecting to see a friendly seal or, you know, a, a hungry shark. A poor dive buddy will probably freak out and, you know, kick you in the head. So give them some distance and, and be careful, huh? Swim away and see what they do. What would you do if your buddy just swam off at a tangent and did their own thing for a bit? Wait where you are, swim off yourself and leave them behind, swim after them while sticking as close to the dive plan as close as possible, or chase after them with a stick. If you chose option C, then you are a pretty good dive buddy. If your dive buddy doesn't even notice that you're not by their side, then that's a bit of a red flag event. What if you've just been slapped by a mermaid, or the Kraken just gave you a crisp high five, but doesn't understand his own strength and it ripped your arm off? Who would confirm your story? If your buddy didn't even notice you were gone for a minute or two, 
then they definitely didn't see that awesome event just happen. You might be labelled a crazy person, or you know, maybe get caught in some ghost gear and get in some real trouble without any backup from your buddy. So what makes a good dive buddy to you? The one that gets the first round in? The buddy that carries all of the heavy gear? You know, we call them dive masters or donkeys. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> That's why I won't dive with you. <coughs> it's bad enough to have to carry your coffee in the mornings. Sean, check this please. It's because you've got strong legs. Let's discuss in the comments below and have a good old chin wag. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.